Hey guys, welcome back to Armstrong Gaming. We are looking at XCOM here. Alright, so a little bit of housekeeping before we get into the actual game realistically. Alright, so some of you might be aware I've got a broken metacarpal in my right hand which has severely impacted my gaming. Uh, with the splint that I had I was able to do a fair bit, um, but now I've got a proper cast on and can no longer grip a controller or a mouse. I am effectively only able to do possibly XCOM. Uh, I've got some Borderlands 2 which I've already previously recorded so I'm going to voice over the top of that and put them up. I can probably do Warhammer 40k and I've got some magic that I've got queued and I can probably do some more of that as well. Possibly Dungeons of Dreadmore as well. Anyway, so back to XCOM for the moment. So we got a short clip here and I had about an hour of this recorded. I've put it down to 16 minutes so that way you guys have got some more coming over the next couple of weeks. Uh, it's probably another month that I'm in a cast for. Alright, so here we are, we're just doing research and so forth. Got access to the scope. We're gonna do one mission per episode at this stage. So, as you can see, I'm moving quite fast through the game because, you know, it's just, this has become available, that has become available. We're getting our new satellite uplink and that'll happen on the next video, I think. It's 14 days away. Alright, so, get an abduction and what are we choosing for options here? I think I ended up choosing... Don't you scientists? Yeah, I went to Argent I believe I went to Argentina. Yeah, we go to Argentina because, well, we need to calm them down, and the only way to really do that is through missions there or to put a satellite up. Our satellite coverage is 14 days away, so we're doing the mission there instead. So I didn't get many responses regarding Cheng, um, so I've upgraded him as I see fit, and we're gonna fly over to Argentina. Alright, cool. So, obviously this recording has been done after the video, and enough time's gone past that I don't remember it. Operation Final Apollo is the pl is the mission, in case you want to look it up online and so forth. Alright, let's have a look. Cut the little cutscene, because it's not really interesting. Alright, so we've got a couple buildings, a couple cars. Cars are not the best for cover, because they can explode. Um move the sniper up into a good position and check him on overwatch all right cheng um move him to that car obviously i haven't got much choice in the way of cars like for cover i have to choose the cars if i want to continue with overwatch but i'll, I'll move out of them asap all right so on top of the building is a meld and that has that's the one that's undiscovered. There's another one over to the side that's got four minutes, uh, four turns remaining, not four minutes. Duh. All right. So I know there's a couple of little guys. Um, we're progressing through the main objective, which is to build an arc thrower for the possibility of stunning a alien for a lot to life capture it. Um, for those of you who are at least a little bit interested in what's going on with my hand, I've put up pictures on my Twitter account, hashtag Armstrong Gaming, and the address is just literally at Armstrong Gaming, all one word, capital letters for ARM, with capital A and capital J, obviously. Alright, so, I think Ching got, Ching got the kill. Alright, so these are a new enemy, um, I think they're called Floaters, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't know the name. Anyway, so they have four hit points and obviously can hover and fly and so forth. So they will do elevation in the midst of um, just random spots. Alright, so we've got our sniper here. Horrible miss. Three turns to recover the meld as well. So Zoo. I hope I've done that right, Zoo. So. Uh, if anybody actually knows how to say Chinese names and so forth, please please correct me. Um, I'm not above learning. Alright, so two damage there, and we've got Martin, who apparently doesn't have a shot on the guy that he can quite clearly see. So, I move him to there, and now he's got the shot, because the car was slightly off the elevation. However, it doesn't help. He is a terrible shot at this point. Alright, Alien's turn. They've got shots on King, Ching, or oh, Kong is his first name, so we'll call him Kong. Um, yeah, so in this game they can be given one word, I believe it's one word, nicknames, 
Um, if you guys want me to name them and so forth, or you feel like there's a name that I should be giving them, I think they start getting given them automatically at about a certain point of kills. Uh, so Patel hasn't got any nickname yet. He's got 54 accuracy on that one guy. Um, 95. This should hit. Oh, come on. 5% chance to miss and it happens. Alright, so let's take this one. There's the cutscene. There's the kill. Got him. Alright, so... This video will end up just after... There's another kill. Nicely done. Uh, just after the mission. Uh, literally, because I played it all in one go, I just went bam, bam, done. Alright. Bear with me, guys. Alright, so... I had a... Dinner call. Yummy dumplings were had. They were so good. Alright, so... Clearly, I get a little lucky here. I managed to make it over to the meld container with a turn remaining and find that there's five turns remaining on the meld that's on the roof. You can see it just there. Alright, so put the shot up. No, no good. Alright, so I got Patel. So I'm going to move him to there so that way he can snipe if necessary, but he won't be able to snipe this turn. So switch the pistol and move a guy in. Let's move Zal to there. 59%. Take the odds. 2 damage. He's one shy. Alright, I got a pistol there. 48%. Got the one. Got him. He's out of here. Alright, aliens have got their turn. No, nothing. Alright. It's got an empty mag there, so sit and reload. Switch the sniper. Overwatch. What's this guy gonna do? What are we gonna do? Move him over here. Obviously I don't want him facing towards bad cover. Got no targets. Reload. Oh wait. What happened to my other guy? Did he die? He must have. Yeah, um, yeah, I think um, Kong died. I wasn't paying attention to that, was I? <laughs> Too busy worrying about the dumplings that were coming my way. Alright, so now I'm being a little bit more cautious, as you can see. I've only got three out of my four guys. Um, and I just sort of want to know where these bad guys are before I do anything irrational. So, Patel, I'm going to move him up so that way he can snipe if necessary the turn after. Um, I want to sort of send him up because I've got to get to that. That's too high. There we go. Alright, so let's put him into there because that's what the drain pipe is. And I've still got to move up my sleeve in case he encounters bad guys. Alright, cool. So not a problem. So there's the um, staircase. Sorry, not the drain pipe. Oh, he can get up there. Oh, he can get. Oh, okay. Let's let's do that. So we're gonna dash our heavy unit upstairs. Zao, I believe it is. It might not be actually. Thomas Martin. There we go. So Martin, Zao, and Patel are still alive, and they're still in that general direction. All right. So first things first. Collect the meld by Martin. That's both melds collected. And we're going to pop over here and see if we can see anybody in the street below. Alright, no we can't, so let's check it on Overwatch in case they move in. And we're going to move these two inside and we're going to clear these two rooms. So switch the pistol, open the door, no contacts. Alright, check him on Overwatch just in case. And Zhao can flank there. Alright, so let's hope the aliens reveal themselves. No dice. Alright, Martin, you can stay there for the moment. Oh, it's a dashing move. Uh, bugger it, let's go there. So I have the feeling that they're in the alleyway at the back, but I'm not sh certain. So I'm just going to put Patel there and chuck him on Overwatch because he's still got the pistol equipped. Alright, Martin, what are you going to do? No, no, no. There, that's where I want you. I want you to scout slightly further ahead into the alleyway. Alright, so they're not in the alleyway. 
Hopefully the game gives me some idea. Oh, okay, so they're in that direction, so which... Oh, excuse me, a little bit of a burp. Um, it must mean that they're down. But there's a room back there that I haven't cleared just yet, so they're possibly in that room. Alright. Let's put him there, which is next to the door. So I can have him attack next turn. Alright, so Zao. Can't quite get there. Move him to there. Alright, come on. Let's move Martin. Oh, let's move him there first. Alright. Alright, alien contact. We got him. So, they get to move once they've been spotted, clearly. Uh, 76. Let's take that better option. Oh, Jesus. Three damage. Alright, so... Patel's got 68 with the pistol. Only needs to do the one damage. Gets another kill. A floater. Yeah, that's what they're called. Um, I kind of want to put him there, but the game's being annoying. Come on. I just want to move him. There we go. Alright, come on. Fine. There. You can go there. Alright, so we move Martin down. Who doesn't bother to use the stairs because he's a boss and just drops down. Now oh, it's at 75% chance. Oh, doesn't quite get the kill. Oh, God. What's, what's this alien going to do? Alright, double move. That's good. Patel sniped him. 68%. Just over two thirds. Oh, miss. Alright, so. There, that should be good enough. Martin in for the kill. 79%. The cutscene, we got the cutscene. Got him. Alright, that didn't end the mission. What the hell? Alright, so let's put him there on overwatch and we'll go outside on the next turn switch the Zao oh no Martin let's bring Martin back across let's put him there alright where are these guys um, let's put him there and put him on pistol on overwatch Open the door. No contact. Move him to there. I know there's... Oh, where'd they come from? I should have seen them before if they were there the whole time. Alright, so I can't remember if this is the first time you guys have seen these guys, but generally the way to deal with them because they stealth is to go into Overwatch. Because as you can see, they strangle their target and they don't get a reactive shot. So there's two of them. So let's move Martin outside first, because he's got the most damage, compared to Patel. Alright, got got the kill. That's all that matters. Um, the other guy is affected by strangulation and damage. Let's move Patel out there. The, the key to these guys is overwatch and grouping your guys together, because they like to attack individual members when they're alone. So, by staying together and being on Overwatch, even if you waste a couple of turns, you can make sure that they won't effectively strangle one of you guys to death. So, as you can see here, I'm just Overwatching. Leave them all close by, reload on Martin, and here he is. Got him. Alright, so that guy's getting strangled again. Nice bit of damage there from Patel. Bit of damage breaks him off. 25% chance to hit him and he's staying on top of me. Alright, apparently that's a very good dodge. Martin gets the kill. Does that end the mission? Yes! Alright, we lost an operative but got 8 kills and both melts. That's not the best trade off but I'll take it. Um, so we lose Kong, which is not good. Oh, King Kong, he's uh, passed on. Alright, so we lost him, he had 5 kills and 5 missions, he was good for us. Uh, we get new, 2 new medals, 
and a whole bunch of stuff. So we get a couple of soldiers and we reduce the panic. Alright, so that's pretty much brings us to the close to the end of this thing. I'm going to assign this power. Um, make kits, yeah. Uh, and that'll pretty much wrap it up. Uh, the next one will be the next mission uh, after that, alright? So I hope you've enjoyed. Remember to subscribe and like and keep a look out for the sets of videos that I put out while in recovery phase for my arm. My hand more precisely. Alright, I like a little bit of aim. I'm going to give that to my snipers. Uh, Martinez. You can have it. Alright, cool. So, take care guys. See you next time. Appreciate your efforts to support the research team. I appreciate commander. your efforts I've to support the new recruits to work commander. in the lab. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab.